Brownstrick. Hello, this is Shantae Brownstrick, a talk on the Black Unicorn, coming to you from the studio. From the studio. Okay, I found this out. Like, I think I can, like, that's the wrong thing. I'm not on there. I'm trying to be her, brother. Um, isn't it like a button you can push and like put on a title or something like that? I found that one day. So let's see. Cancel microphone. Okay, that's mute. That's the video. That is the other side. This is like a filter. But I thought you would like put the title on. Invite or join. Um, uh, request to join. I guess that's not, that's not something I could do. No filter. Okay. So, anyway, that's it. Shantae Brown, Sugar Talk of the Black Unicorns. Coming to you from here. All right, let's get the show started. Let's get the show started. Let's get the show started. Let's start with the gossip. Let's start with the evidence. So in my house, it's a channel. It's like a back channel or something. I don't know. It's a channel we watch on Roku or something. And um, it had good stuff. It had good content because the content is different. You see how, like, when the programming is good, they try to hide it. So, anyway, they had this show with Jermaine Dupree. And I think it could have been public. Me and my son don't know because we don't watch TV. So, I started watching it because I like watching, like, all this house stuff or whatever. So, it was two shows I used to watch. One was um, actually three, four, five. But, anyway, like, but one is, so I pay for TV. Like, I'm like, I don't. I don't have cable, so it's like some of these little channels, I love them. Like, so I pay for it. So, anyway, it was like Jermaine Dupri had a show where he would find the next rapper. You see what I'm saying? And people would help out all this different stuff. So, um, that was how they was listening in my apartment. And then, not only that, it was like a show, like, where they was, like, doing, like, some, let me find a, um... The next contestant to be this person's husband and the and the two women that were over it were really toxic, like really, really toxic. And so it was just the truth. Like that's how they do all the housewife shows too. Like they push y'all to a point of just being stupid. Like it's like if y'all, that's why they don't get rid of Nene. It's like because Nene is gonna bring the drama. Nene gonna bring the ghetto ness, and it's like always this little pinch or dash of um just toxicity and it's like a mental health issue you see what i'm saying that and not only is it mental health it's like they don't go to church nobody's on there reading the bible nobody's telling you that this is like the deadly sins or anything like and i'm not even a person that does this stuff it's like really the bible is telling you don't do that like you know what i'm talking about like this is proof of don't doing it and the reason why Jesus got his ass whooped is because he was doing it. He was staying, taking from his neighbor, asking them to love him as a deity and all this different stuff. And it's like if you go back and look at the Ten Commandments, he broke every commandment, every freaking commandment. The end of the Bible is when they tell, when they talk about Abraham and how he made a pact with God. That's it. That's all you ever had to know. That's it. Like, that's the end of the story. Once you know that, you don't even want to read the Bible no more. So, really, the Bible is just, like, a reference of, like, where this sin was committed and how this story was made. That's why they retell the stories over and over again. You see what I'm saying? That's why they remake movies and all this different stuff. And you'll be thinking, well, this is a new part of my life, and it's not. Like I said, if you don't have... Oh, God. This is going to break one day. Like I said, if you your personality is the way it is, that's your personality. It's not anything else. So, that's it. Like, it's like, why would you think that that was okay for you to listen to them in my house so then they'll be like trying to say well now this is a person i support all this different stuff and it's like no that's why that lady kept coming to me at the hospital saying do you want to go on drugs do you want to go on drugs she was acting just like the lady from that tv show that's why i was like why do y'all keep coming back and just showing that you were recording stuff in my apartment illegally you know what i'm saying like it's like it's just an act of treason, and that's why it's an act of treason, because I'm supposed to be protected. So somebody came with the idea this morning, like, the person that was protecting me must have went crazy. I think they did, too. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, they went crazy, so then, therefore, that's how all this debauchery and all this other stuff got involved, because, really, it wasn't something that should have been happening. You see what I'm saying? Some people went, like, some people knew, like, people knew, but they didn't tell people, and people knew when they had to get jobs and stuff like that. They knew. 
So it's like, why is it that now it's like y'all acts like this, like the most, it's like so tainted. And y'all want me to be tainted because you were tainted. And it's like I wasn't a part of that. You see what I'm saying? Because most of the people that stole stuff, they are older adults. Older adults walking around like fucking being treated like they puppets. You see? Because they, know they can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, they they still try to get me to be a puppet for them, too. Like, get me to talk, like, say words that they want me to say. Or um, trying to control my body, using the voodoo, all that different stuff. It's like, how crazy are y'all? Like, that's not going to work. You see what I'm saying? And so, the people that were mainly trying to keep me out of it were the people that put me in it. You see what I'm saying? So, it's like, I can't trust nobody. You know, the person that's telling me I can't trust people is the person that I don't need to trust. And mainly that was my mama, my mama. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, y'all gonna come for my mama. The woman that put me on this earth, you gonna come for my daddy. And that man was just like, no, you got, you can't hold on to them like that. I had to detach myself from my fucking parents because of how jealous they are. So that's like some deep shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it hurt at first. It doesn't hurt now. But at first it hurt. And as a kid, you just still, as a kid, I still didn't want to believe. You see? But he was telling me at every lessons I have to learn them. Like I had to put myself through it to learn them. Just like if I was to turn on my son, but my son turned on me first. He don't know what he was doing. He turned on me first because he saw a white man. So that's why it's like that's when they took him. It's like, no, you're not going to keep him in that matter or that mind because that's not the type of person he is. He's not a clansman. Y'all understand? That's not his personality. So that's it. It's like, y'all... I don't know. I don't know what y'all were trying to teach him at school. I don't know why you were following us, why you had to have him or whatever, but he not yours. It's not going to happen like that. That's another child of God. That's what I've been trying to tell y'all the whole time. That's why they didn't want him to be like me. Now they don't want him to be good. They got He got to be like Lord Voldemort because they was listening inside the house. Like we on the Lego movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, what's that Lego thing with us? You see, everything they doing is from the TV that they were hearing inside our house because we don't talk. Or we're just like, when we were in Belleville, when they were trying to record, Blake was too young. He wasn't, he was having speech problems. So we didn't talk a lot. We watch TV. We talk in the car. We talk when we go out. But we don't, we went in a house like that. You see what I'm saying? And I worked a lot. So he would be other places. So we would just sleep there. So it's like, what is it? What's the problem? You don't have anything to go on. So it's like instead of y'all leaving us alone and realizing that you just re doing another TV show, you know, it's just like everything, y'all. They just it's just stupid. It's just a white man that came up with something else and everybody else wanna follow. Y'all don't need to listen to them. I'm serious. Y'all need to stop putting white men in power, period. Like they stupid, they ignorant against everybody. Like it's like the stupidity of it all. You can't go to a white man and just think just because he white, he got the best answer. I would be more apt to go to an Indian man, a Native American man, Native American. I'm not playing Native American or a Native American woman with some sense because all Native Americans don't have sense either. But you, are you know what I'm saying? I got to go to somebody with some sense. A black man with some sense. I go to a black man with some sense before I go to a white man. Y'all know how many dumbass white men I've been, I didn't seen and been with. I, you just, I'm, I be like, what the fuck do they give y'all a job for? You know, I, mean, I just, eh, what do they give you a job for? You just be like, you ain't done shit either. I mean, for real. That's why they didn't make Kim Kardashian somebody. That's why they didn't make Nene Leak somebody. Y'all just be like, you ain't never done nothing either. Y'all, I'm talking about they just keep putting all these people in here that they, that don't do work at all. You know, they don't do nothing. Oh, my God. Silly me. Silly me. You silly me. Silly me. Positivity potion, y'all, because you see what I'm saying? They burn witches at the stake, too, when witches found out that they were also demons. You see what I'm saying? So it's like these women see their real face, right? And to be able to use herbs and spices does not make you a witch. It does not make you evil to heal a man with peppermint. It does not make you evil for somebody to lay down and get roses put on their body so they can heal. 
It does not make you evil to take lavender and put it to the temples of your head, underneath your nose, and your headache will be gone. That does not make you evil to take a bath and wash all the allergens off so that you feel better. It just doesn't make you evil. So what happens is, is they, the medicine women were killed because they didn't want them to see their true face. Because this is the thing. If you are a healer, you don't have anything against anybody. You just want them to be healed. The sick, the poor, the demons, all of them, you just want to, them to be healed. And so it's like they see you as your honest self. So when they see you, see them as your honest self, they will actually get upset because they know that they themselves maybe don't deserve to be healed. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Because people have been mentally putting themselves in jail every time they commit some type of crime. So it's like, now I don't deserve to be healed. I don't deserve to take a bath. I don't deserve to brush my teeth. I don't deserve, you see what I'm saying? Because you feel like you have done something against the world. You have done something against humanity, whether you believe in God or not. You have done something against humanity. And this person is standing in front of you saying, okay, you did that against humanity. Now, heal yourself so you don't commit this crime against humanity again. But you want to mark yourself as being evil or the devil or whatever. So now you're just going to sit in your bullshit. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? So you continuously just keep putting yourself in the image of a devil. Y'all get what I'm saying? Because of who you are. So now you program yourself to be this mean, bad person because you feel like you can't be a good person because you're still coveting. You commit one of the Ten Commandments. You see what I'm saying? Against yourself. You don't want to get over it. You just want to keep committing the same thing. That's why the Ten Commandments are out there. So it's like, if you don't commit this, if you don't create this ideology for yourself, then you will be okay. That's why you shouldn't want what somebody else has. Just go get it. Ask them where they got it from and go get it. If they had on a purple dress, you want a purple dress, girl, I'm going to give me a purple dress. That look good on your skin. Rose is pretty on you. It's like instead of y'all actually getting them to be there where you are to heal, y'all want them to hurt. And so now that's a sin. That's a strike against you. So now y'all want to look pretty. Now y'all see how it changed. Now I'm going to look pretty. Even though I'm a demon, I'm a devil. And I'm going to pretend to be like this person. You see what I'm saying? It's like, that's all y'all do is just strike yourself. You mark yourself. I don't mark you. You mark yourself. It's just that you know I'm right. So then that's what it happens or whatever. You think because these people know they right. The reason why they know they right is because most people come see them. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? Most people come see them with whether they right or wrong. Y'all get what I'm saying? So it's like they know people. So when they know people, it's like, why should I judge you? I don't have the right to. I don't know why you did what you did. I don't know why you felt that desperate. And because you felt desperate doesn't mean that you're wrong. But when you know that you're wrong, correct yourself and make it right. It's still something that can be corrected. It's not always like as bad as you think it might be. Okay, so, since they always think witches, they they burn witches at the stake for seeing the nature of the demon. Positivity Potion. It's, this was from Positively Present. And um, I just thought this was cute. So, you need a smidgen of wisdom, a hint of gratitude, a sprig of truth, a splash of joy, a dash of love. I'm going to make this into a recipe for some good ass juice. You hear me? A splash of joy. Do y'all know they got edible glitter? Okay. Sprinkle of acceptance. A feather of hope. A pinch of luck. A handful of self love. And a sliver of inspiration. Which is so cool. So I was making Blake Moon juice and he caught me. He said, like, that ain't no moon juice. That's some Kool-Aid. Who you think I am? <laughs> you think I'm crazy or something? I went and made him some Kool-Aid, y'all, and put it in the moon so I can say that this is the moon juice. Because we always look at the full moon at the end of the month together. So, 
that's it. Like it's just like enjoy the healing benefits of the moon. It's a full moon. It go it, it gives you ben, uh, different benefits than the sun because we are all of the earth. The stars give you different healing benefits too. And maybe it's just laying there to relax and watch them. You see what I'm saying? That's the reality base of it. You can lay there and relax and watch them. You can calm down by looking at the stars. So all this stuff is like you have to sit back, heal yourself by forgiving yourself. And I learned that from the Kojic Church. That comes from the Kojic Church, which is the Church of God and Christ. Okay, how to start loving yourself. Research all different types of self-care. Research all different types of self-care and see what's better for you. Know that you were always worthy, even when people made you feel otherwise. Get to the root of why you don't love yourself. You see what I'm saying? Because that's why you would commit the same. That's why you commit those sins. That's why you can. That's why you break one of the commandments because of something that's making you not love yourself. I want to kill people, but I don't want to be in jail. I love myself too much to try to go to jail. Create boundaries with toxic and damaging uh, people in your life. You have to. This man, he just did this. Uh, this mean. I don't know if he was trying to be funny, but he act just like Jeanette. He, he say his mama called with an attitude. Did you get your all changed today? He said, no, nah, I think I'm going to do it myself. Uh-huh. So what you going to do when this happened? Ain't nothing going on. But y'all know somebody like that. So when you get, when that happened, then what you going to do? Instead of her saying, you going to change your own oil. Y'all see the difference? So he in a toxic situation with his parent. He actually needs somebody to be there. Boy, you going to change your own oil? You want me to come help you? I'll hand you the stuff. You want me to go to the store with you and pick it up? Y'all see what I'm saying? But she can't just do that. She had to get on the phone and actually act like what he was doing was wrong. And that's his business that he has to take her of. You see what I'm saying? She don't even know how to be a mother. This is why we have programs on TV. Don't shy away from working on yourself. It's something that you always have to do. And so he has been programmed to not tell her that she's a toxic mother. But if he actually did and go ahead and get over the pain of telling her, it would be a better relationship. Y'all see what I'm saying? Somebody got to tell her that she's full of shit. It is okay for your son to be able to change. I'm talking about y'all. I create a, a a ward and everything. We going for some ice cream when you get done. You tell me when you change that oil so we can get us some ice cream down there at this place. Mr. Bobo been trying to see you. Y'all see what I'm saying? That is a healthy relationship. He is in an unhealthy relationship with his mom. This is abuse. That is casted down from a television show. That has been um, marked by the government. That's all I'm trying to say. I know it sounds crazy, don't it? I'm not one of those people. But that's the truth. Stop waiting until you're perfect or you meet a goal. Start now. You always start now. Lent, you didn't do it. Start now. Ramadan, you didn't do it. Start now. You've been curious. Start now. I know it's not the time. Start now. There's so much literature out there. Start right now. Do it right now. That's what you want to do. Do it. Pray. Every day. Start now. Start right now. You want to lose weight? Start today. You want to gain weight? Start right now. You want to eat healthy? Start right now. Love you is what you are right now. Practice self-care and listen to your needs daily. Truly do that. Get to know yourself. Hobby, strengths, the things about you that are lovable and admirable. Y'all, today somebody else was talking and they were like, the theory was with me and my thalassemia. It's like, it is, I have to get rid of waste out of my body, right? Because of my blood, because of my blood situation. And so I have to actually go to the bath. Like I actually have to poop. Like that's where my joke came from. Let that shit out from Kevin, right? Like. So what happens is, is like, I still have to poop before I leave the house. So what they saying is my anxiety is helping me get rid of the waste, even though I'm not taking a iron peel and i'm like is that true you know what i'm saying because if you take an iron peel you gotta actually take a stool softener to get rid of your stool you see what i'm saying because you'll be actually backed up but because i try to do everything in a healthy way i try to get the iron through vegetables and all this different stuff then it's a different situation so that's something that somebody was actually discussing on this little thing i don't know whatever i'm listening to and i thought mm, that's a good theory
I have to look it up and see if it's right. And I might just see how I feel about it. Y'all see what I'm saying? So, I don't know. That's just how I feel today. I just want to let y'all know I heard you. I heard you. I heard you talking. Okay, so next, Elements of Glow. Um, I don't know, y'all. I always want y'all to glow. What else was I talking about today besides the Elements of Glow? Um, oh, yeah, I did that one. How to Start Loving Yourself. Okay, this is the last one. Okay, Elements of, of Glow. Eat well. Eat fruits, vegetables, drink. You know what I'm saying? For you, I had to tell this to a girl inside of the post office because they keep reminding me of this girl in the post office. She had a conversation that said she had issues with food textures, and that's okay. So uh, all she got to do is pick out what's healthy for her and just eat that. You don't have to worry about it. All of us have our issues. Get sleep. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Drink lots of water. Meditate. Don't judge. Don't judge anybody. Be kind. Be a healer. You know, slow down. And don't be a stupid healer. Girl, take this Tylenol. Don't don't be an ignorant healer. You see what I'm saying? Don't try to give people stuff. Don't go and try to, I'm going to sit here and talk to you. You see, because I say this and then some dumb bitch will just go, I'm going to be Mademoiselle and I can help. And y'all will be on there falling for that shit too. Don't do just, that's it. What I'm saying is be a healer by yourself. Just be calm and trauma free and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Stop creating trauma for other people. Slow down. Pay attention. Pay attention to people's anxieties and worries, all this stuff. Don't worry. Pamper yourself. Tend to your hair, skin, and nails. Breathe consciously and laugh often. And that's it. That's all y'all need for today. Glow, girl. That's what today's thing is. Glow, girl. Look at Sweetie and Lotto. I mean, I'm talking about they are just adorable. Trina, adorable. Adorable. Adorbs. You guys are adorbs. Anyway, that's it. It's Shantae Brown Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorns telling you guys to please have a great week. It's glow up time. Glow up.